So why do we sleep? Well, repair, rejuvenation, but also there's another reason. Our bodies detoxify, or shall I say, our brain detoxifies while we're sleeping. Interesting. It's probably why people wake up feeling groggy if they drank some alcohol or even have eaten junk food because you're adding more toxic things into the body. So at the micro level, you have these little on off switches going on in the neurons, but then you also have circadian waves. Okay. Every 90 minutes, you have these waves from a superficial sleep to a deep delta rejuvenating, the slow wave type sleep. That's when you detox in the deep, slow wave phase. And when you have this on off mechanism, you have the increase of oxygen and blood flow, and then the decrease of oxygen and blood flow. And then when you have a decrease in blood flow, you have this additional increase in what's called cerebral spina fluid that is also circulating around the brain. And that's where you're taking out this waste. And so the cerebral spina fluid, which is kind of lymph fluid, is helping to flush out this metabolic junk from your brain. And it's detoxifying things like uh, beta amyloid uh, proteins and other placking, which will then help prevent Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, things like that. So the more you detox, the better the memory, the better the focus, the better the concentration. And of course, what you eat directly relates to that because if you're also consuming things that help detoxify your body, cruciferous vegetables, for example, clean food, it's gonna help this situation. So you wanna make sure that you get enough sleep. Um, most people need minimally seven hours to nine hours. I can get by with six and a half and do totally fine. But then ever so often I can take a very long nap, like an hour and a half to two hours. And I am just, I am great for a while. So um, I do well on six and a half. Some people need more, some people can get by on less. But here's the big thing that can help your deep, slow wave sleep and the detox of your brain. It's exercise. But I think what's even better than exercise is physical work where you're involving your entire body versus getting on a treadmill or, or just lifting weights. Physical work is very therapeutic to your sleep. Fasting is the next most important thing. And even going to bed when you're slightly hungry, that's very therapeutic to the brain and to your body. And then we have just a low carb diet, which will give you ketones. So ketones are very therapeutic to help support the brain as well. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.